This webinar will discuss NextGene's HLA Analysis Module. NextGene's HLA application type is used for HLA typing from next generation sequencing data and provides specialized analysis settings as well as application specific reports and visualization. The HLA typing works by using a dictionary file that includes the sequences of known HLA alleles. This file can be downloaded in XML format from NCBI. To perform HLA typing with NextGene, select the instrument type that was used for sequencing and select HLA under the application type. Sequence alignment is selected under Steps. Click Next to load your sample data. If you've used Mutation Surveyor's HLA tool to analyze Sanger electrophorograms, the Mutation Surveyor output can be processed by NextGene by selecting the Load MS HLA Mutation Report option and loading Mutation Surveyor's HLA DAT file in the Sample Files field. Otherwise, under Sample Files, you can load your files in FASTA or BAM format. If needed, for FASTQ files, for example, Click Format Conversion to open the Format Conversion tool to convert your files to FASTA format. Otherwise, click Load and browse to and select the sample file or files for a single sample. Then click Load under Reference Files to load the GenBank reference files for the HLA genes that were sequenced. Under Output, you can leave the default location or modify as needed. Then click Next. Click Load to load the dictionary file downloaded from NCBI in XML format. The following settings can be modified as needed. Minimum coverage is the minimum number of reads required to be matched to an allele for the allele to be reported. Percent coverage is the minimum percent of the gene that must be covered for allele calls to be made for the gene. This should be set based on which regions of the gene were targeted, for example, selected exons only or the full gene. The minimum read length setting is used to filter out reads that are shorter than this length. Align each sample file to only one reference file. Certain chemistries can produce a separate sample file for each gene sequenced. Select this option if this is the case for your sample data. Mutation filter, check reads balance when mutation percentage is less than 20%. This setting can be used to exclude mismatches that are found at both low frequency and with a directional bias from being used for the allele calling. You can click Finish here or click Next to proceed to the post-processing step to automatically export the HLA report following the analysis. If this step is not included, the HLA report can still be exported manually from the viewer. To automatically export the HLA report, select HLA from the report drop-down list. Then click Set to load a settings file for the report. The settings file can be saved from the viewer and we will go over saving this file when we switch over to the viewer to review the results. Click Finish. You can click Create More Projects, New Project to set up the analysis for a second sample. Multiple projects created this way will then be processed consecutively. Or click Run Next Gene to begin processing. Once the analysis has been completed, when the HLA project is reviewed in the viewer, you can click on the Report Selection toggle button to select Show HLA Report. This will switch from the default view to the HLA Report and Visualization. The HLA Report shown on the right consists of three parts. The HLA Summary Report shows the top allele pair matches for the gene. The number of top allele pairs shown for each gene can be set in the HLA report settings. This example shows the one top allele pair match for each gene. Up to the top four allele pair matches can be displayed. By double clicking on any allele pair shown, the lower two reports, as well as the HLA view on the left, are updated to display information for the selected allele pair. 
The allele matching report lists positions of mismatches between the consensus sequence for the sample data and the dictionary sequence for the second alleles. For the selected alleles above, allele 1 has no mismatches compared to the dictionary sequence, so in this case the allele matching report is blank. At the bottom, the allele coverage report lists low coverage regions as defined in the HLA report settings for the selected alleles. You can click the settings icon to view the settings for the HLA report. The settings dialog includes a tab for each part of the HLA report. On the HLA summary report tab, you can choose which columns to include in the report and specify how alleles are reported. You can choose the level of type precision to be used for reporting alleles. In this example, the four group result is shown. You can see in the allele names, the four different parts of the allele name are shown. The two group or three group option can be selected to show less detail in the allele names. You can also choose the number of allele pairs to report for each gene. In this example, the one allele result is shown, showing only the top allele pair match. You can change this to include additional allele pairs. The all allele pairs option will show the top four allele pairs, which is the maximum that can be included in the report. On the allele matching report settings to have, you can again choose which column should be included, and you can also select filter settings. You can deselect display mismatches only to include every position for the alleles in the report instead of just the mismatch positions. You can also filter mismatches based on statistics, the allele balance and overall read balance, or based on annotation to include or exclude mismatches of each type. On the allele coverage report settings, once again, you can choose which columns to include and set filter settings. This report lists low coverage positions, so you can specify the threshold to be considered low coverage. You can also filter based on the zygosity of the position and can set the threshold for a position to be considered as heterozygous. On the left, we can see the NextGene viewer's HLA-specific visualization. The top pane is the same as the default view, showing the coverage in gray across the, all the genes included for the project. Below that is the reference and dictionary pane, which shows the reference sequence, the sequence from the GenBank file, and the dictionary sequence from the dictionary file. The dictionary sequence is shown with yellow highlighting for the positions of polymorphisms using IUPAC nomenclature, while conserved positions that are the same for all known alleles for the gene show no highlighting. Next is the top allele pair matches pane, which shows the dictionary sequence for the alleles best match to the sample data, with the allele name shown on the left. The next two panes are the consensus sequence panes, which show the consensus sequence for the sample data at the top, along with the aligned reads for the selected allele pair. The HLA analysis results can be saved by clicking the Save icon, which will save a text file for the HLA report, including all three parts of the report. Thank you for viewing this webinar. You can visit us at our website www.softgenetics.com where you can find information on using NextGene for a variety of applications, including additional webinars in the analysis corner, as well as application notes. For more information or to receive a trial version of NextGene, contact us at info at softgenetics.com.